vendor center right now is actually a running success story. So mm -hmm. the challenge is not to take it to the next level. Right? Um, I personally feel that uh, the R&D captive um, area of business is not fully explored. Um, we also know that the value we could bring back to our headquarters uh, is also much higher. So the main focus right now is to make sure that the Bangalore Centre is actually doing that because that's the reason why we are sponsored. Our endeavours here are sponsored really because we hold out a promise. And that would be right on top of our agenda to make sure that this promise that India holds out for time law is actually fulfilled. MBRDI is working very strongly in the area of telematics. Mm -hmm. uh, we started this journey a couple of years ago and realized soon that the competencies that we need for that are available in Bangalore. Right now, speaking uh, again to that example of bringing digital lifestyle into the car, we heard about it uh, a few minutes ago from the presentation as well. The India Centre, specifically the Bangalore office, is involved strongly in, for example, integrating lifestyle electronics in the car. Mm -hmm. It could be a smartphone with different operating systems, it could be a tablet that's brought into the car and where the user likes to bring his life into the car. We have a strong focus on this uh, integration work and uh, India Centre is strongly involved along with our Silicon Valley office uh, to bring this to life. Actually. Right now as we speak, there are engineers who are busy designing, programming and testing these activities. Yes, that way offering us a significant competitive cost advantage mm -hmm. uh, along with the competencies that we have here. There are internal targets we're working on, there are efficiencies that we're working on, mm -hmm. uh, efficiency improvements, methodologies that we're working on. We know things can be done smartly and uh, at time we want to realize the potential of India in terms of you know good combination of uh, costs and competencies. So there are internal targets. We are looking very strongly to see if that competence is available because we cannot jeopardize our development at any cost by putting cost on the front. Right? And therefore, Daimler is really looking for those competencies. It's like I said, collateral, very, very specifically advantage that India is bringing in terms of costs. So to the question, if work is flowing, uh, it's purely based on the white spot analysis that we have. What do we want to place in India on the global R&D map? Mm -hmm. Why is it needed in India? This is the primary analysis that we do, rather than saying, can we get it out of India because it's cheaper? No. So sure.